on compressed natural gas is about to get underway this morning in Midtown. G News reporter Dan Perlman is at the OU Schusterman Center with more on what's going to be happening there. Dan? Hey, Justin. Yeah, you know, about 260 people are going to be here throughout the day. The summit itself actually gets started at about 8 o'clock. And right now we're actually standing in front of one of Tulsa Transit's CNG-powered buses. And I'm joined by Meredith Weber, who helped uh, organize this summit today. Tell me a little bit more about what uh, the people who are going to be here can expect. Uh, the people can expect a full comprehensive day of learning about CNG. So we're learning about um, the basic CNG, the, the different kinds of stations that we have, all the different vehicles that are available, the funding opportunities we have in Oklahoma, um, and then uh, just talking about the medium and light duty vehicles. Now you mentioned Oklahoma right there. Obviously CNG is huge for Oklahoma. Tell me, tell me why. It's so big because it's, we're the third largest producer of natural gas in the United States. So it drives Oklahoma's economy. Um, and so that's why we promote compressed natural gas. Okay, now realistically, where do you see the future of CNG maybe five, ten years down the road from where we are right now? I think compressed natural gas has a, a big future. Um, we have so much of it in the United States. It's abundant. It's domestic. It's not, we're not using foreign oil. We're seeing so many of the original equipment manufacturers uh, start building CNG vehicles. It's something that is affordable for Oklahomans to drive and the United States to drive on. All right, Meredith, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Again, about 260 people are going to be here. They're going to be coming really from all over the country. And again, things will get started at about 8 o'clock. Live in Midtown Tulsa, Dan Perlman, 2 News, works for you.